Among the joys that Anna and I have experienced through our years of public ministry is to see the rise of young leaders that have risen out of our congregation and then through the decades of our ministry. There are scores and scores of couples or individuals who are out in public ministry and leadership, pastoring churches, conducting evangelistic meetings, ministering in several environments of leadership in the body of Christ on foreign mission fields, and it all began in the atmosphere of the Church on the Way, where we privileged to serve for over 30 years. Today I have one of those, not one of the couples, because Heather's not here, but Roger is. The beautiful part, uh, Heather was unable to make the trip. Roger, the handsome part, well, he's here. The only thing about Roger that uh, I find very, very different from my ministry, because his heart in the Word, his faithfulness as a shepherd, well, they, they've depict the things I would hope of people that I've influenced for their leadership in ministry. But Roger has considerably more hair than I do. <laughs> and I am proud of him, proud of his life and leadership. And I don't know that I'd say, Roger, that I was necessarily proud of your hairdo. I never think of people like me as being bald. I think of people like you as being hairy. <laughs> Roger, it is so neat to have you here. It is such a, a privilege to me to, and an honor just to be with you today. And I'm very thankful for just what we're going to be doing here. How many years have you and uh, Heather been back in Fairmont, West Virginia? For now? 15. For 15, 15 years 15 pastoring years. the congregation. Yes, we now. have, yes. And I, I visited you once, had the privilege yes. of being a very vibrant con congregation. In fact, if you're in the Fairmont area, West Virginia, mm -hmm. Uh, you may enjoy paying a visit to them. But uh, Roger is a remarkably gifted worship leader and composer. At the recent convention of the network of the Four Square Churches, uh, he, he led, uh, among others who led in the worship times together. And Roger, uh, I always have been moved all the way back to the years that you and Heather were here in the church with the things that God has put in your heart. The Thank rise you. of... Uh, such a sense of the, the tender touch of God's love, the high purpose of God for us. How did the Lord grow in you some of these central concepts that rise in your music? What, what was your own pilgrimage and growth? 